Hello everyone, welcome to a foreign farming in the Philippines. Well, this is the end of day five. And we're a bit dismayed as to the lack of work that got done today. They, they only worked a half day today. So they worked from lunchtime until now and it's five o'clock. There's five men here. They put on those little strips of bamboo right there. And well you can see from the last video what they've done. They put up two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, thirteen pieces of wood. Not really impressed. So we're thinking about cutting down Levy's crew tomorrow or for Monday and bringing in a couple of our guys. Marcel's over there talking to him about it now. I'm going to get up on here. Hopefully, I won't sink the whole damn thing. of it. I think each one of these barrels can float uh, half a ton and there's probably 30 on this end, maybe 35. So it's designed right. As you can see there's not many at all down on this end. They're putting this bamboo on, they're lashing it down with twine, the nylon they call it. And I'm fine with that. But the actual construction on this building itself, I'm not too impressed with uh, the speed with which it's getting done anyway. And he had said there would be three men on each, three on this building, and three doing the bamboo strips. Uh, this doesn't much progress for three men in four hours. And this, from the last video, it doesn't seem like much progress for three men in four hours on this building either. So, changes will be made. Still windy. This, the weather's been just kind of cloudy and windy. Of course, we've gotten maybe five minutes of rain out of this in the last three days. It keeps threatening, but it just won't do it. It would be nice if we got to put up with this windy weather. It would be nice if it would just pour and rain. But no such luck. Uh, today is Saturday, so it's payday. pay these guys and uh, some of them are going to be sent on their way. Levy was uh, really hustling up, bugging us to death for bamboo. He needed more bamboo, more bamboo. And he used about half of what we brought him. Uh, he didn't even want to start on Monday because he didn't have enough bamboo. bamboo that he asked for and it's about two times too many. I don't know. Monday's another day. Let's see if I can get down off of here without breaking me or something else. Easy peasy. Jason saw that, he'd be throwing his pissy fit. We are going to do quite a bit of cleanup around here. 
around this whole property. Uh, the amount of trash that is generated by the locals is pretty astounding. As you can see, this is all our leftover bamboo. And there's quite a bit of it. And a bunch of short pieces as well. We're going to take a bunch of this home and use it for the fencing around the piggery. At least this thinner wall stuff. Uh, the really thick wall, like that right there. It has a different name, and for the life of me, I can't remember. Uh, Benon, maybe, is the thin, and the thick is, uh, I can't remember. Solid wood. Uh, it's good for construction, it's good for what we need for here. And this thinner stuff, this thin wall stuff, is what has been uh, turned into slats there uh, for the floor. So this thinner stuff uh, we'll take home and make fencing slats out of it for the piggery. The thick stuff, I don't know. We'll just donate it to science, I guess. I don't know what we would do with it. Maybe we'll use it for posts for the fence. Yeah, that's a good idea. So I think we've got uh, at least a start on the material that we need for the fence around the piggery. Ways not want that. We've been cutting down this piece of itself. It's just poles driven into the seafloor with net. Uh, that'll be an interesting couple of videos in itself. Thank you everyone. Please like, share, and subscribe.